I just want to share a thought, a word really, that was rooted. Um, when it came to, to mind, um, as I was doing some gardening um, back in the autumn, I think it was, I um, took, gathered a few, three little cuttings of rosemary off a bonfire pile. And I thought I could do with a rosemary plant. So I put, put them in a pot, um, waited over the winter, and just this last week, um, now, one of them has survived into a rosemary plant. I put it in another little pot to grow it on. And it just occurred to me that the, the, what's the difference between the, the two that died and have just been thrown away, and there's one that has survived and will hopefully grow to be a good, a big plant. Um, it occurred to me the difference is that the, the one that survived is the one that actually created roots, that developed roots, so it could go down to the soil and get the nourishment, the nutrients, the water, the things it needed to survive is it was well rooted. And that was what was the, the, the first thing that it had done is develop roots before it actually developed any growth. Um, and I think it's the same in our, in our Christian lives and our spiritual lives. And I just wanna read a few verses. First of all, from Luke um, 6 and starting verse 36, uh, 46, so wise and foolish builders. Jesus says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? I'll show you what he is like, who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice. He's like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid a foundation on rock. When a flood came, a torrent struck that house, but could not shake it because it was well built on a good foundation. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. See, Jesus is saying that he is that strong foundation. We need to be rooted deep into him. And when the torrent strikes, whatever that might be, trouble, hardship, maybe a change of circumstances, a situation we weren't expecting, whatever it might be, when that thing hits, we can stand firm because we have great confidence in God. We know who God is. We know what he's done for us. We have great faith and assurance in him. We can stand firm. And not only do we stand firm, not only are we well rooted in him and we can stand firm on that firm foundation, but actually we can expect growth and life and fruitfulness. And I just want to read a few verses from Psalm 1, um, which says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law, he meditates day and night. He's like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither wherever or whatever he does prospers. You see, the one with a good root that's down into God's word is like a tree that bears its fruit in season. And it doesn't wither. It doesn't kind of fade away um, when, when you know, dry times come. But because it's got its roots deep down into God's word, because that person has got their roots deep down into God's word, into God's ways, into him, understanding him, knowing him, it has that fruitfulness and that abundance. But you see, it says, <clears throat> the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. We don't need to kind of take, take on board and be engrossed by the things of this world that are not beneficial, that are not building up, that are not in accordance with God's ways. Um, so often we read a lot in, in the media and the news and whatever, which seems to be gossip and rumour and stirring trouble. That's not what we should be getting involved in. Actually, it's God's law, it's God's ways, it's his true and right and perfect ways that he wants us to be seeking after, deep, digging deep into, sinking our roots into his, um, into his ways. Jesus says he is the, the living water. It's his living water is in him. And if we um, put our roots down into him, we're like that tree planted by streams of living water. And that life flows through us that we might stand firm in him and that we might <coughs> bear fruit in season. I think there's my, 
I'm seeking God for a season of fruitfulness to come among us, among our nations. Um, but in season, when God has appointed for us to be fruitful, when he, those moments, those times, those seasons that he has for us, when he wants to bring fruitfulness, if we have our roots down into him, fruitfulness will come. So we need to make sure we get our roots deeply rooted, deeply um, into him that we might have that, that living water surging through us, that we may be fully refreshed, even in times of drought and struggle. And that we, we can kind of disregard those things that aren't beneficial, that aren't of God, um, that may be a, a kind of worry everybody else that are sent to worry us and to knock us off course. We can be deeply rooted in him and stand firm in him. And then like that house, if we, not only hear his words, but actually take them on board in faith and actually live them out. Um, we can be like a, a house that's on a good, firm foundation that won't be shaken, but will stand firm. And we need to be those who will stand firm in Jesus. Um, in, in Ephesians 6, it talks about the armour of God, but it talks about standing firm. Um, and we need to be those who will stand firm in him. Um, we go it says for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers and against authorities and against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms therefore put on the full armor of god so that when the day of evil comes you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand we can stand because we put the armor on because we've sunk our roots deep down into jesus into his word we have the great confident faith in him we have not only heard his word but actually put it into action we've actually responded to his call for salvation for new life we're living by faith and we can stand firm and then we can stand firm against the devil's schemes and we can stand firm and we can stand firm for a day of fruitfulness the season of fruitfulness that he wants to bring so can i just encourage you um get your roots down be firmly rooted in jesus so that we can stand firm and we can expect a day of fruitfulness thank you